Hey, I'm Sue Martin, and this is the story of my life. I was born and raised in Florence. I've lived here my whole life. Um, I've been going to church ever since I was born. When the doors were open, we were there. Um, I had very godly parents, um, raised in a Christian home. So for me, the whole Christian life was pretty normal. Um, when I was five years old, I decided I wanted to ask Jesus to come into my life. I grew up in a Baptist church that was very big though, so I had to walk down a very long aisle to join the church and then um, to be baptized. So I did not do that until I was nine years old. I was too scared to walk down the aisle. So um, when I was nine years old, I got baptized at Calvary Baptist Church here in Florence. Um, but I remember one night sitting in the living room with my mom and um, told her that I wanted to ask Jesus to come into my life. And so she sat down with me in our living room and we prayed together. And at that time, I truly believe, you know, with the faith of a child, I accepted Christ and he came into my life. Since I became a Christian so young, I think what I mainly wanted to get across today um, is just the lessons that God has taught me through my journey um, being a Christian for so long. Um, so the first lesson that I learned was when I was in high school, um, we had um, a time every week that we got together and had a Bible study over at a couple's house from our church. Um, it wasn't like FCA, but um, it was sort of like that. But anyway, um, and the people who led it, I just put them on a pedestal and they were wonderful people and we really had a great time. I mean, even the popular kids were coming and, um, you know, it was a great time of, I was so excited because I thought, oh my goodness, all these people are becoming Christians and we're going to change Florence. And, um, well, along that time, one of the couples in our Bible study group, um, the man had an affair. And I was just totally devastated, and I couldn't understand. I thought Christians were perfect. Um, you know, I thought Christians didn't make big mistakes like that. And um, God really taught me at this point in my life that Christians aren't perfect. That's, you know, that's not what what we are, and, um, and we're all going to make mistakes. And it doesn't matter if you think it's a huge mistake or if it's a small mistake. Um, and we don't need to be judgmental about it, but we need to be forgiven and we need to be loving. And um, that's the first lesson he taught me. Um, when I was out of high school, I went to college. It went through, um, was there for four years. After college, I got a degree in early childhood education, which I wasn't sure if I wanted to teach or not. Uh, came home and went to work for Kirk Lang at Palmetto Tire. Um, worked there probably about a year, and then I was contacted by the Continental Singers, which is a Christian group, um, to go and sing. So I went to sing with them for three months, which it was wonderful. Um, I had a great time. We got to travel to Europe and different places, and that was wonderful. Um, Still not quite sure where the Lord wanted me to be, what he wanted me to do with my life. In my head and in my heart, I always wanted to get married and have kids. Um, but I wasn't anywhere near that point um, in my life at that time. I just kept remembering the verse, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Um, so I just kept repeating that to myself and knowing that the desires of my heart was to get married and have kids. Um, but God didn't have that, um, for me at that time. Um, after, um, a few years working for Kirk, um, I went to work at a doctor's office that I used to work in when I was in college and in high school. Um, I thought it was going to be temporary, but I ended up working there probably 10 years, maybe. <laughs> um, still not knowing where God wanted me or what he wanted me to do. Um, but I, um, moved out of my parents' home, um, with Dawn Mitchell. Now she's Dawn Wilder. Um, she was my best friend. 
We did everything together, had a great time. Um, and Brad Harvey, who was also one of my best friends, um, we did everything together all the time. And we went to church. I mean, we never did anything wild and crazy. We were churchgoers. We did everything with the church. We sang. We taught Sunday school. We did the usual stuff. Um, but then I felt like God was teaching me yet another lesson. Um, Brad decided to move to Colorado. He took a job out there. Um, so that was one of my best friends gone. And then... Um, I felt like the Lord took Dawn away. She got married, and um, he just sort of left me out there all by myself. Um, I think what he wanted to teach me is that he's the only true friend that I need because um, I was living by myself, and I'm not a person that likes to be alone. I don't like to live by myself or be alone. Um, but during that time, God really taught me um, to lean on him and that I needed him more than I needed friends that I could feel or touch. Um, so that was probably one of the best times in my life with him because I read more every day, studied more every day, because um, I just felt so lonely. Um, but then God brought Tommy Head into my life. <laughs> and for y'all who know Tommy, you know, that was... Um, an incredible journey on its own. Um, we began, we lived in the same neighborhood. We began running together and we'd memorize a verse every Friday. Um, so I got to build up memory verses um, during that time and I felt really good about that. Um, just hiding the word in my heart. Still during this whole time of my life, I think that I categorized sin like some sins were huge sins and other sins were small sins because I thought, um, you know, I guess like Pastor Bob says, I held up my ruler um, to other people instead of to God. Um, so I measured up pretty good. I mean, I didn't drink. I didn't smoke. You know, I didn't do bad stuff. I didn't sleep with married men or, you know, crazy stuff. Um, my sins were pretty minor compared to the sins other people had done and were doing. 